Hi there! Today we'll be making Lightning McQueen's good pal and hardworking hauler Mac using simple crafting materials found around the home. He's gonna look a bit like this guy right here. Are you ready? Let's get tracking! Here's what we're gonna use today to make our Mac. Some boxes, aluminum foil, school glue, red paint and brushes, a mason jar lid, some bottle caps, a few popsicle sticks, red and green markers, safety scissors, a ruler, white and black paper, and some spare cardboard. First, we're going to construct the cab of the truck, which will be Mac's face. You're going to want to glue the shoe box and the tee box together like this. When you break down Mac into simple shapes, he's basically just boxes and circles. His face being one big box with one smaller box on top. Be sure to give the glue enough time to dry. Grab your cardboard and cut two half moon shapes. Be sure to ask an adult to help with any cutting. Next, glue the two shapes together along the seam. Give it time to fully dry before moving on. If you're having trouble gluing these two pieces together, you could try using tape instead. Once the glue dries, glue the pieces to Mac's head like so. This will make it look like Mac is wearing his classic hat. Add glue to the back seam and attach to the top of Mac's head. Be sure to leave room for Mac's eyes. He needs to see the road after all. Once all the glue dries, we can move on to painting. Time to give Mac that classic Lightning McQueen red paint job. Let's paint our cab and shoebox, which will be our trailer. Sometimes Mac wears a white hat and sometimes he wears a red hat. Today we're going to paint his hat red. Painting can get a little messy, so be sure to lay down some paper or something similar for any messes. While this dries, we're going to start working on the fine details that make up Mac. While Mac and other semi-trucks typically have 18 wheels, we're just going to add the 10 visible tires on the outside of Mac. Take your mason jar lid and trace around it. We're going to do this 10 times. We might only be making 10 tires, but don't worry, Mac will still make his long hauls no problem. Next, cut out all your circles. Be sure to ask a parent for help. Looks great so far, just need to add some chrome and rubber. Next, take your aluminum foil and cover each of the wheels like this. This will give each wheel that shiny chrome look. Do you know why a semi-truck like Mac has 18 wheels? It's to keep the rig stable and to carry a ton of weight. Wow, so shiny! Let's go ahead and repeat this process for the rest of the tires. Alright, this is where the rubber meets the road. Take a black marker and color in the outside of the wheels like so. Mac won't get very far without any tires on those rims. That looks like a tire to me. What do you think? I hope you're not tired yet. We have nine more tires to color in. And voila, our wheels are done. It's really important that Mac's able to check his blind spots. So let's make his side mirrors. Take your safety scissors and cut out two rectangles out of cardboard. Be sure to ask a parent for help with this. Next, use your safety scissors to cut out a slightly larger piece of aluminum foil. While you have your safety scissors out, Cut out a large rectangle. That's going to be Mac's grill. Cover both the mirrors and the grill with aluminum foil. The foil will give the mirrors and the grill that shiny chrome look. Now we're going to make the details of the grill. Grab your ruler and measure out half an inch from the grill and draw a line. We do the same thing on the sides and bottom of the grill, but only a quarter of an inch. Once you're done with the grill lines, be sure to add Mac's name so everyone knows who's coming down the road. Next, grab your popsicle sticks and add a dab of glue to the top of one side and stick it to the back of your mirrors like so. They kind of look like metal lollipops. Time to build some shelves. Grab some cardboard and with your safety scissors, cut out some cardboard strips the length and width of the shoe box. To secure the shelves, we're going to need to cut two slots half the width of the box on each strip. Remember, be sure to have an adult help you with any cutting. Once you have your slits cut, they should look something like this. We'll set these aside for now and revisit the shelves later. Next, we're going to make Mac's mouth. We're going to need a white and black piece of paper and scissors. First, we're going to cut a rectangle on the black paper for his mouth. Mac is a pretty happy fella, so let's draw him a nice big smile. We can do that by simply drawing a shape that kind of looks like a banana. Once drawn, cut out your banana-shaped mouth. Next up, we'll need to make some teeth for the mouth. Trace your banana shape onto your white paper and draw a small rectangle to give Mac some pearly whites. 
Once your white rectangle is drawn, simply cut it out. These teeth look great! Next, glue the teeth to the mouth using a glue stick. Now that's a smile for the ages. Now we make Max eyes. Make sure his eyes stay open and he's not snoozing on the road. Cut out two squares from white paper. Now, with your green marker, take each of your squares and make a circle about the size of a dime. And with your black marker, yep, that's right, his pupils. Next up, we'll be making Max exhaust pipes. For this part, we'll be using two identical markers and some foil. Take your safety scissors and cut out a strip of foil big enough to wrap your whole marker in. Then cut out a second strip of foil for the second marker. Once you have your foil strips, completely wrap each of your markers in the foil. They kind of end up looking like metal taquitos. Now I'm getting hungry. Most importantly though, they look like large metal exhaust pipes. These are going to look great on Mac. It's finally time to build our shelves! Grab your cardboard with the slits that we cut out earlier, then take all the pieces and interlock the strips to create some nice grid shelving for Max Long Halls. Be sure all the pieces fit nice and snug. Take your shelving and insert it into the shoebox. It should fit nice and snug. If it feels loose, feel free to add some tape to hold it in place. It's tire time! Grab all the tires you made earlier and some glue. It's time to attach them all to Mac. Remember, five wheels on each side. We'll be gluing two tires towards the front of the trailer, two tires towards the back of the trailer, and one tire towards the front of the cab. Once the glue is dry, flip Mac over and repeat the same steps. Be sure to try and match where you place the tires on the other side. Technically, these tires would be connected to an axle. Time to give Mac a facelift! Grab your glue and all of the pieces you made earlier for Mac's face. Let's start by gluing on the grill. You'll want to glue this on to the top center of the bigger box. Then grab your glue stick and glue the mouth towards the bottom center of the same box. When we glue the eyes under the bill of Mac's hat, it really starts to show his personality. For his headlights, I'm going to use some stick-on jewels, but you can use aluminum foil or anything else around the house. He's looking great. Just a few more touches. Personally, I think the jewel hood ornament and headlights look so cute on Mac. Now we're going to add the mirrors. Ask a parent or adult to help you make the slits in the cap to stick them in. Then simply slide the popsicle sticks all the way into the slits like so. When you flip over Mac to slide in the second popsicle stick, be sure to hold him up slightly so you don't crush his other mirror. Now Mac can check his blind spots. Let's attach those exhaust pipes. Add some glue to the foil and stick it to the side of the cab, leaving a bit of pipe sticking out above Mac's head. Then repeat this step for the other side. These may take a couple minutes to dry in place. If you're having trouble, try using some clear tape instead. It's all starting to come together. Let's go ahead and hitch our trailer to our cab. To do this, we need to create some space between the two pieces. I'll be using some bottle caps as the spacer, but feel free to use cardboard or a different material to create some space. Take a bottle cap and add some glue to the inside. Then stick another bottle cap to it, making a bottle cap sandwich. Repeat this process with two more bottle caps and allow them time to dry. Next, glue both your bottle cap sandwiches to the back of Mac's cab one towards the top and one towards the bottom. Once that dries, add some glue to the other side of your bottle caps and attach it to the trailer. Be sure to give these enough time to dry. Looks good, but something's missing. That's right, the decal. I'm going to be using that classic 95 for Lightning McQueen, but you can make up your own original decal. Both Lightning and Mac are constantly changing their style so feel free to get as creative as you want with these. There's no wrong way to express yourself or Mac. This side of Mac is looking great. We definitely need to add decal to Mac's hat though. He just doesn't look right without it. Perfect. 
Last but not least, let's add one more decal to the other side of the cap. Looks great. And we're done. I gotta say, I think we nailed the look. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Hall Lightning and all of his friends. Hope you had fun making your very own Mac. See you next time. Bye.